Hey Pixels! In this week's tutorial, I'll show you how to design this trendy website hero using the latest features in Adobe XD. This website hero will also have two versions, light and dark. Before we get started, be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you'll be first to know when a new video drops. Hope you did it! Now, let's get started! In Adobe XD, we'll first open an artboard that's 1280 by 800 pixels. We'll also enable the layout grid that's 12 columns with a gutter width of 32 and margin that's 116. Finally, we'll add a light linear gradient as the background of our artboard. Now that we've set up the artboard, let's design the light version of our website hero. Let's design our navigation. We'll draw a borderless transparent rectangle that's 1280 by 80 pixels. For now, we'll keep the rectangle's border and background temporarily just so we can see what we're doing. On the left hand side, I'll add a logo for the website and on the right hand side, I'll add some menu items. I'll grab the logo from my components and place it on the left hand side. Next, I'll add four menu items and apply the menu character style to the text. I'll select them all, press Command or Control G on my keyboard to group them, and enable horizontal stack. By holding down Shift, I can evenly adjust the padding between each menu item. Now, we'll add a Get Started button to the menu since that will be our main call to action. I'll draw a blue rounded borderless rectangle, set border radius to 8 pixels, and then I'll add text to the button that says Get Started, and apply the button character style. I'll group the two objects together, and then I'll enable padding and set padding to the top and bottom sides to 12, and then padding to the left and right sides to 24. Now, I'll just make sure that spacing and alignment are on point for the navigation. Our navigation is complete. Now, we can add some hero content. The hero section is the first thing users will see when visiting the website. So we want to make sure we capture their attention with a bold heading, images, and a clear call to action. To do this, we'll add some copy to the left hand side of the hero and then a fun trendy image to the right hand side. I'll draw a transparent rectangle that's 1280 by 720 pixels, the size of the hero section. This will help with vertical alignment of objects as we're designing. First, we'll add a heading for the site. I'll apply the bold heading character style to the text. Now, I'll add some lorem ipsum below the heading. Feel free to add legit copy if you're tailoring this tutorial design for your own website project. Finally, I'll duplicate the get started button in the nav and place it below the body text. Now, let's design the hero image. First, we're going to draw a rounded borderless rectangle that's 548 by 490 pixels. We'll set the border radius to 40 and apply this light blue purple gradient as the fill. Now, with the object selected, we'll turn on 3D transforms, the latest cool feature in XD and set the Y rotation to minus 24 degrees. Now, we'll draw two borderless circles, one being 80 pixels and purple, and the other yellow and 112 pixels. I'll place them towards the edges of the rectangle.
Now we'll draw a circle that's 4 pixels. I'll enable the repeat grid in XD by hitting Command or Control R on my keyboard and make a 6x6 grid. Now we have some really cool decorative artifacts, but there are a few more objects we'll need to add to create our final hero image. Let's continue by adding a photo to the center of the image. Now for some final touches, we'll add some user cards. To do this, we'll draw a white borderless rectangle that's 240 by 68 pixels. We'll apply a blue shadow with 20% opacity to the object. Then we'll set X to 0, Y to 3, and Blur to 20. On the left hand side, we'll draw a borderless circle that's 50 pixels for the user avatar. And then we'll add two rounded rectangles and apply this light blue color. We'll duplicate the objects and arrange them nicely on the hero image. Now, we'll use the XD plugin UI Faces to add photos to the cards. Now, let's turn our Light Hero website dark. With the light artboard selected, hit Command or Control D on your keyboard to duplicate the artboard. Now, we'll color the background dark blue, text including logo, and the grid artifacts white. We'll also add this dark gradient to the background object. You just design this light and dark, trendy website hero using the latest features in Adobe XD. Be sure to share your work with me on social media at ExoPixel. Subscribe to ExoPixel for more great videos on design, code, and tech. I'll see you in the next tutorial.